Hello everybody. We have a beautiful day here at Millstone Firewood and we're going to do some processing after a whole lot of distractions and interruptions and other things going on. It's time to get back to work. So I've got some logs loaded on the machine and I have an order for two cords of firewood unseasoned. Uh, he's going to, the customer is going to use it next season. So what we're going to do is we're going to split it. We're going to put it right in the, right into the dump trailer, load the trailer up, take it over and deliver it. So for a few weeks now, I've been having trouble with the bar oil pump on the firewood processor. It's been driving me up a, up a wall. So this thing, and, and we talked about this before, this pump is a fuel pump. And it's very, very light duty. And it's also a diaphragm pump. So the problem with using a diaphragm pump in this kind of an application is they are extremely touchy. If you um, get the slightest bit of dirt into this pump, it's gonna quit working. So right now, the problem I'm having is it loses prime. So I'll show you what I mean. I pull the, I'm gonna try to pull the hose off. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn the key on and I've got the bar down because I sharpened it yesterday and watch what happens. Nothing is happening. It should be pumping. I can feel some, I can feel a little bit of uh, action here, but it feels like it's sucking in as much as it's pushing out. I've about had it with this type of pump. I've ordered a different pump. It's on the way. And once it gets here, we'll be changing changing this out. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot some brake clean in here. Let's see if we can get this thing to get get its prime back. There it goes. Okay. I really don't know what that's all about. These pumps, I don't know. I just they're trash as far as I'm concerned. It's it's a $25 pump. <clears throat> I'm buying a, a gear pump, which is a positive uh displacement pump. And we'll be doing a video on that whole process next week when the pump comes in. The customer was very specific about exactly what he wanted, which is logs that are 16 inches and under 4 inches in diameter when they're split. So, because I have a six-way wedge, any of these larger logs, they're going to have to get probably multiple resplits as I go along here. So it's going to be a little bit more time consuming just to make sure that I get everything exactly the way the customer wants. So I'm going to be um, pulling logs back out of the chute and putting them back on the in the splitter box. I will probably narrate a little bit of this as you can't hear me when I talk with the machine running. So I'll probably do a little bit of narration, not too much, but then we're going to uh, try to crank through this. I almost forgot, I wanted to show you this. I had a log jam up against my shield. I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to try to hold this level. You can see how that whole bar is bent. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to come in here 
and I don't like the way they did this. They riveted this thing in a whole bunch of places. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to grind all these rivets off. Then I'm going to have to come down here with uh, probably a rosebud and heat this up and bend it back in place. <clears throat> I have to be very careful because this is the frame of the machine. When this bent, it actually bent the frame. Um, it happened really fast as I was splitting a log and the log just literally bounced up and bent this before I could get my hand off the control. It was uh, quite surprising. But what it did, I don't know if you can see it, there's a crack right, right down there, it goes all the way down to here. So this whole thing is cracked got to go it's it's cracked along this edge so all these rivets have to be taken out and I'm probably I don't know I might just replace that with a piece of sheet metal I'll probably just come right to here with it and then I'm just gonna come straighten this and then just come straight across to here and be done with it because this uh, the shield it's great, except you, it gets dirty so fast, you can't really see through it. It's, it's not really worth the trouble, so I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to replace it. I'll see how I feel about it once I get the old one off of there. So that's going to be a separate uh, repair video. At the moment, the bar is down, which means the oil pump is engaged. And also, the saw is going to be running, so it's... When you sharpen the saw and you bring the you have to pull the bar down just to get in there, you can't push it back up. And you know, you can operate the controls as much as you want. It won't go back up and stay up to the point where it shuts off. So you pretty much have to start the machine to get the hydraulics going and then put the bar up. So you'll see when I start it, as soon as I start it, the blade's gonna start spinning. That's just the nature of this machine.
right, we have a full trailer. The measurements of my trailer bed are uh, seven feet wide and right to this metal lip right here is two feet from the bed of the trailer to right here is two feet. So, uh, and then it's 13.66 uh, feet long. So when you multiply that up, you get about 191 cubic feet. A cord of uh, neatly stacked firewood is four by four by eight. Loosely piled, like it is in this trailer here, a cord is 180 cubic feet. So it's piled a little high. It's piled a little bit over the, the two foot mark. So he's gonna get a little bit more than a cord in this load and that's fine. So now all I gotta do is deliver it. And thank you to my lovely bride for all of her assistance and hard work. Uh, couldn't do it without her. I don't know what I'm gonna do without her. <laughs> Your destination is on the right. Keep in mind there's a line up there. Okay, we're back in the wood yard. That was the first cord of wood delivered. So tomorrow we're going to uh, do the next one. Before I do that, I have some maintenance I've got to do on the machine. And then we'll get started again. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you later.